Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some of the reasons our shoes can look cheap and how you can use this information to find expensive looking shoes. So regardless of how much you're paying, you're able to find something that's really well constructed and looks beautiful and will look great in your closet for many years to come. So let's get started. The first reason our shoes can look cheap is when they have a poorly constructed shape. So when a shoe is made, it's done around a last and when that at last is high quality and well done, it looks really elegant and it resembles a foot. Now, when the opposite is true and shoes are, shoes are done really cheaply, then the last will look really unnatural and the shoes will as a result look unnatural and not very organic. So they'll be a little bit too round, a little too swooshy, and they just won't age well. They won't wear elegantly and they won't look great for as long as possible. So really try to find something with a beautiful shape to it to begin with so that as you wear it, it will mold to your foot, but still maintain that beautiful silhouette. Another reason our shoes can look cheap is when they have no delineation on the sole or they're completely flat. That's something that's not only going to be less comfortable to wear overall because it typically comes with no padding or cushion, but also that will wear out really quickly, making your shoes look worn out far faster than they need to. So a good way to go about this is to find a pair of shoes that has a really beautiful delineation around the sole, maybe even a slight heel. It doesn't need to actually be a heel, but just a little bit of a differentiation between the front and then the back of the shoe is a really beautiful way to ensure that they will wear well and that you'll have even wear throughout the shoe as you're walking. Another reason our shoes can look cheap is when the material they're constructed of is just too thin. So this is going to be true for anything, whether it's leather or faux leather, suede, faux suede, fabric materials. Anytime the shoe is done with a really, really thin upper, it's just going to show all your entire foot underneath it. And in my experience, that doesn't wear very well. So it makes your shoes look worn out faster than they need to and can contribute to them looking less expensive, even if they cost a lot. I see this happening a lot more and more specifically as a way to cut cost. And that almost naked look to the shoe is something that just doesn't last. So I really recommend finding something with a little bit of a sturdier shape to it and certainly with a thicker material. It will wear better and look better for longer. Another reason our shoes can look cheap is when the soles have obvious glue marks. I talked about this in a past video, but a well-constructed shoe is typically sewn together. So you'll have the sole and then you'll have the upper and those two will be sewn together. That allows for repairs over the years and just general wear and tear to be less visible. The shoe typically looks better for longer. Now it's definitely viable to find a high quality looking shoe and certainly a shoe that will last a long time that's been glued, but the important thing to look for is that that's been done with care and attention. So you're not going to find visible glue marks. Everything will be done really neat and tidy. And if you do see visible glue marks, that's typically representative of a poorly constructed shoe and something that just won't last as long. So it's not worth spending your money on because you'll have to replace it a lot faster. So similarly, just like other clothing items, you're going to want to pay really close attention to the seams and any threads and just generally how that shoe was put together in other areas beyond just the sole. So avoid any obvious buckling, any rippling should be avoided. Anywhere that this, uh, the shoe has been sewn together, maybe there's a cloth element, make sure that no threads are coming undone and make sure the sole isn't already starting to peel off of the shoe. All of these things are really important to pay attention to because if it looks bad when you first buy it, it's only going to get worse. So definitely try to find something that looks like real attention and care was given because that's going to look really good for a long time. Another reason our shoes can look cheap and something that you're going to want to avoid for expensive looking shoes is poorly executed or cheaply done embellishments or buckles. This is typically the first thing that's sacrificed when offering a shoe at a really low price point. So you're going to want to pay close attention to these and when in doubt, go without. It's always better in my experience to choose a shoe that's really simple because it will wear better and age better and it won't be tied to any specific trend. So things like buckles and embellishments need to be really beautifully done in order to add something to the shoe. Otherwise, I think it takes away from it. So pay close attention to different 
buckles. Start noticing expensive or more costly buckles and embellishments, and then start comparing those to those that are a lot cheaper or inexpensive. And you'll be able to tell the difference and start to really train your eye to choose what's gonna look the best for the longest. Next is patterns and prints without intention. So just like the buckles and the um, embellishments that we talked about, a pattern is really easy to cheap out on and a lot of people won't pay attention to it. So start training your eye to find really beautifully executed patterns and prints. And I think you'll be really happy with it. So things that match up, maybe a floral pattern that at the back of the shoe continues perfectly onto the other side. Likewise with stripes and animal prints, and then also the overall color composition of the patterns and the prints. Things are going to go together really beautifully in a well-executed shoe. And in something that's been done more cheaply or inexpensive, less care will be paid to that. So it might be a little jarring, it maybe won't last as well, it might feel more trend-driven. And really understanding that and how you want to translate that into your wardrobe is so important. So definitely start paying attention to that. And much like the buckles and embellishments, when in doubt, go without. And last but not least is an uneven or unrealistic color. So when you're buying a pair of shoes and specifically across various price points and quality levels, the easiest colors to execute are black, brown, sometimes a really, really rich dark burgundy brown, and more often than not a taupe or kind of an off beige color. Those are going to show less imperfections, specifically if you're at a lesser quality, and then they're easy to execute in an even color across various price points. Now similarly, if you are looking for a pair of shoes that's going to be beautifully constructed and high quality, I think it's really difficult to pull off kind of a, a faded dye color. So when in doubt, going for a solid color will ensure those shoes look great for a long time and are easier to repair and maintain. So solid black, solid brown, a solid beige, or a solid white for a pair of sneakers. Just make sure that everything looks really great, really timeless, and that you can enjoy it for a really long time. And there you have it. Those are some of the top reasons our shoes can look cheap and how we can avoid it to find really beautiful looking shoes that will last a long time. So I hope that you liked this like always and it gives you some information that you can use to build a wardrobe that you'll enjoy for many years. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.